What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at my collection. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so last three weeks has been very interesting. I had an engine problem and a brake problem with my car come up and only been able to really drive to and from work, and it's just been a pain in the butt working with the dealership, the techs. I actually just got my car back yesterday, and it's already back in the shop. So, I haven't been able to play for three weeks. Starting to feel it mentally. Uh, I've been thrown in the field as much as I could. Today, Philadelphia is imitating Florida right now, where it's super hot, and then you get like a super storm for 10 minutes, and then it goes away, and then 30 minutes later, another super storm. So, stuck inside today. Somebody did a request in the comments a while ago. They wanted to see my collection. Uh, kind of my thrower rack. So I thought this might be a fun little series I could do, take my mind off things, and to show you guys what my backups look like, kind of how I work things. So starting off, uh, I'm going to probably do putters and mids for you guys, and I'll do another video of just fairways and drivers. And then I'll get inside and show you the actual collection. So starting off with my putters down low here. I do have some spins on the rack still. I used to throw the spin until I beat the heck out of my Electron Envy, and that took over the slot. These mostly now, I kind of I keep one in my bag. So the goal of these discs is really just to be something for me to give to somebody else. If I see somebody throwing a lid or a little kid, you know, give them a disc, get them started. So still have them down there. Moving on, I have a bag of Electron anodes. These are what I'm putting with now, so keeping three fresh. I have a whole box of anodes above me. That's my putting box, and those are all beat up from you, so those are fresh ones for when the time comes to rotate them in. Next up, I got... To Proton Anodes, I like these for upshots and MVP's not making them, so I do have two left. Coming down here, we got some Eclipse Anodes, the original, and this is my preferred disc, especially the, uh, the softy ones, because you can just talk with these things. These things are so good to hit the ground and just, you know, push all their energy into the ground, so they hit and sit nice. So I got a couple of those as backup. Moving along, I do have a Neutron Anode. I used to putt with these, so this is kind of like a backup for me. We'll see. It's still a good uh, straight shooting putter. Do have a proxy here. Uh, really pretty pinky burst. Um, it's that new Electron Formula 2. It's a lap second, so it's that really strong, firm Electron. I like this guy. Next up, we have another proxy. I did get an ace with this one at uh, Tyler Short Shorts. I'm sorry, Tyler A-Holes a few years ago. So, uh, 2017. So, keep that one. And then I have my stabilizer. You guys saw my one disc around with the stabilizer. Hasn't quite worked into the bag yet, but I still get some interesting flights. It might make it there. And then the rest of these are all Entropies. So these are the new Firm Electron uh, Entropy. Uh, I think you saw James Huck in one of these at Worlds. These things are really great. I love how durable they are. I have my first Entropy ever was a Neutron. I've beaten it out a bit now, so it does fly pretty straight and then dump. But I did end up replacing that with the Plasma Let's see, these guys are all Cosmic Neutron, so that's a really pretty lab second. Uh, this one's cool. This is from that, that run where like they didn't put silver down on the stamp or whatever, so literally just me sitting on my couch spinning this on my finger, it actually just wore the stamp completely off, so it's kind of ghost stamped. You can see the stamping image, but all the black's off it. And then I won this one actually from Gary Patton. This is really cool. It's a really pretty color combo, that blue-red, so I like that. And then, of course, I have an MVP open, Plasma Entropy. Might put it on the BST. We'll see. These things are going for nutty amounts of money since James is ace. Ace is. And then the re rest of this rack is just, these are my old putting putters when I putted Neutron. So if I ever feel the need to switch back, I want to have the Pokeball ready to go. So that has been my first rack of putters. All right, guys, moving along. The second rack of putters is real easy. This is all Envy's right here because Envy is the greatest putter ever made. Sorry, Team Squadron, you're still in denial. So the uh, way I organize is I try to do like least stable to most stable, but I also put all my used off on this one end here. So anything I've already thrown before is down on this end. Starting off, this is a soft uh, Cosmic Neutron. I played a one and done with it, and this disc actually taught me to throw putters and mids better. So love this disc. It just I already had it, uh, my other Envy going. Uh, so keeping this one on reserve for when the time comes to replace. Medium uh, electron. This one's a little more beat into. So again, this is really nice for good firm grip. Good for hyzer flipping. Uh, one of the first uh, electron envies they ever ran. These things are really nice and beat up and just nice and grippy. 
Uh, another one, same, same run. Slightly different coloring. Again, this was like the first of the firm electrons they ever released. Put it down here. So first of the firm guys, really nice, good, just rigid putter. So I can, you know, I, you know uh, I've actually, I played a one done with this one as well. This one felt really good just because I could do my push putt style and I have to worry about the just kind of like flopping as it, you know, pushed up. And now we're getting to the new stuff. So pretty cool gray white uh, cosmic neutron burst. I always, I always like this stamp. I don't know why it just felt neat to me. This is a, another a what was it? Yeah, it's a, another firm electron I, I threw for a little bit. This is just a really nice swirly gray and yellow. And this guy is another electron soft. I was when these came out, I was really playing with a lot of the soft medium. I'm trying to find out what I liked, and the answer was I liked them all. Just kind of depends on the situation. The softies kind of make an appearance during the winter time, especially. Uh, here's another electron firm with like a pink and yellow setup. I don't know why you're still bagged. Yeah, pink and yellow. Got some lab seconds here. I I really am excited for this new play, the new electron. It just feels really. I like how firm it is. Feels really good to just grip and rip on. Another yep, another lab second. Nice and this one's got a, this this has got a little more give to it, but not as much. Another lab second. I like, I like the pink and uh, the white combo. And then we have another Electron Softy. Ooh, I really like this one. The black with the kind of like pale orange rim with that stamp that I prefer. Ooh, this was pretty. This is on the new Electron too, a little softer. It's got that infinite like dragon stamp on it. Or, let's see here. This is another pinky medium. Here's the other dragon stamp. I know I had two of these. This one looks real pretty with that pink purple. This is cool white core with a pink rim, 175 gram, softy boy. Got a nailed it one. Say, nailed it hook nailed it with a 168 gram bomber. I always I want to get one to support them, one of their first runs. And then this one's almost the war. This one's almost the uh, highly sought after yellow core gray rim. Speaking of, I'm giving away a yellow core uh, lavender rim. If you check out my last video, I'll link it up here. Uh, check that video out. There's a way to enter that giveaway. So this was a uh, cosmic firm. This thing feels like it's the new. This is the new run of and uh, of uh, electron as well. Super firm. And now we're on to neutron. So I just got a nice. I got a cool blue on blue. Uh, I always like to grab axioms when they have the same color rim and uh, plate. This one's got a little bit of green in the plate or in the rim compared to it, but they're pretty darn close. Have a Halloween envy. So. Really cool, gray swirly. Thing was a little more stable than my other neutron enemies. I liked ripping on it. Got a knockoff shield stamp. So this one was also, this one's really nice. Got a good flat top on it, nice profile. I liked forehanding this guy, actually. It was a real fun disc. And I got one pink, pink core signed by my buddy, Bobby McNamara. Again, I have a lot of uh, neutron backups. The Iron Mouth one by Justin Roth is in my bag right now. Thank you, Justin. I love the black and red. Got this one in a used bin. Uh, did a swap with, or uh, no, this one I did a swap with, I believe. So again, just I saw it, grabbed it, won a nice plasma uh, envy for ripping in the wind. Get, get a tailwind going, just bomb it. And then I do have some soft neutron envies. Again, the, the soft is ridiculous how gummy it was. So uh, I liked it just for for distance upshots, but anything under like two hundred, I found it hard to dial in the distance because they were just so. It's an envy, it's glidey, so I was worried about overshooting the target. You got another, another softy here. And then the proton envy. I try to get these. My problem with proton is I lose it in the fairway. I can just walk right past this thing because you know the clear plate. Uh, I do have a color deficiency, so colors kind of like blend together for me. So I don't I don't try to throw proton that much because I end up losing it when I shouldn't. So I do have one of them, and then I grab this one from my recent tournament because it's I can see it's got a really cool like cloudy swirly effect in the plate. Just looking at it, I had to grab it. Uh, this is one of the original eclipse. So these were, everyone was, I grabbed a bunch of these when these came out to see if they were like super overstable. They were kind of comparable to the Proton. Another one I was throwing, I had two of them. I had one that was like a lightweight one, uh, like a 165, and then I had a, a max weight 175, or high weight. Yeah, this was the, this is another 175. 
do, do, do. Plasma Envy. This thing has chained out so many darn times. It's been so close. This thing's an absolute bomber. And this is another another one I had. I was just messing around trying to find. I, I had one Neutron Envy that was just really amazing. And I just... I, I was playing with a newbie. He lost his disc, so we were in the woods for like 20 minutes trying to find his. Mine should have been like five feet off the fairway. And when we after we found his, went to go find mine. And it was gone. So... Tried to, I went through a lot of envy trying to find the same one as that one. Justin's yours is so darn close. I love it. Uh, just got a new plasma ready to go. Again, I grabbed this with some tournament winnings, so I have a, another glidey boy ready. And then lastly, I got one of the new Eclipse uh, ready to go for my glow season if I need it. So that has been the Rack of Envies. All right, guys, now wrap this one up. Let's take a look at my mid ranges. So, starting off here, I do have a tensor. Uh, I used to throw the tensor tangent combo for a while, and I just have a couple of these left. You know, I've been giving them away really to people who need them. Uh, looking forward to the new stuff. The hex looks really promising. Looks kind of like a buzz. So I'm excited to throw that guy. Electron matrix. So this was my theory replacement for a while. I would just go to a hard pan spot on my course and just throw spike hyzers for like 10 minutes or so. And these things would get super flippy. So that's what I'm throwing right now. So I have a blue guy, yellow guy. I have Proton for the same reason. These things beat in really nice. Um, I always I love the circuit release version of the Proton Matrix. And it seems, like, you know, it seems like everyone that came after it just wasn't as, I don't know, it felt like the profile was just different. Like it didn't grip as well. Did uh, Those I thought had a little more stability. These are a little more understable. Still good though. So another one. My price, like the they all ran in this green color, and again, I hate proton. Uh, I had trouble finding, and green really ain't helping in the fairway. Finally, I have a blue boy here that I got to swap with somebody. This was a ooh, was this the vertex? No, uh, another matrix. This is a live second matrix. This one just this one feels good, like a little heavier. So I'm curious to see uh, how this thing throws. This is 173, but it feels beefy. And then neutron matrix. Uh, I messed around with for a bit. It was kind of my go-to for a while. I got purple, yellow, red was what I was throwing before. I was trying to find this nice bright colors that you know really popped the day. That was nice. Then the reason I don't throw the elect or the neutron matrix anymore is because the reactor came out, and I just love how this disc flies. Really pretty disc. I got this one to swap from somebody. Got this really great one. This came from uh, Brad. My, the one I ordered was actually had a little like imperfection, kind of like a little like like over mold, like you know extra stuff. I had to sand off on the side there. So they sent me a they sent me two as a uh, you know kind of like a, to make up for. It, but I still have the blue guy in my bag, and I got that one, and I got this white one from MVP as a uh, you know sorry, but don't need to be sorry. This disc is awesome. I got a murdered out lab second black. Love this thing. This is, I can't wait to put this one in my bag. He's kind of like, I'm, I'm probably going to bump him up in the queue for when he goes in. It's another uh, cosmic neutron bursty reactor. Got another, that one I got, that was a tournament winning tournament right there. 178 gram. And then deflector. This thing changed my game. I'm so excited when this disc came out. The Just the overstable mid range. Was something MVP was really lacking. It was like you know, it and the entropy were the two big additions that really upped me uh, for uh, help me form tech like shape really technical shots or just battle in the wind. So I got a bunch of deflectors here. I've I traded a lot of people who I saw got them. Uh, a lot of people who threw the justice grabbed these uh, when there was a justice shortage, and then when the justice came back, they bought justices. So I got these super cheap and barely thrown. And I got some new ones too, just to keep me on backup. The rest of this rack is kind of the oddballs here. So, like, uh, this is a lab second stabilizer that I'm going to keep kind of with the... We'll probably go down there with the discs that I'm going to give to other people. I'm sorry, this is a pilot. This is, yep, this is a lab second pilot, my bad. So, this is going to, you know, get people in need. I'll hook them up. I got an MD3 just for my one of my holdover discs I, when I was looking for a stable, a more stable mid-range. Uh, super puppy. Still trying to find the owner for this guy. But you let me know. So I got that on my rack. We'll check out my super puppy around. I can link that. That was a really fun time. I have a Zephyr because if you are from the mid Atlantic and you are fortunate enough to know Dave Cox, you got a Zephyr and you know why. Uh, just a really fun old school disc to play with. So our super class. 
have a prototype pilot that I threw for some glow. Wasn't a huge fan of it though, so uh, I do keep it in the glow bag, but I prefer the glow envies now that we got them. This is a proton photon that I threw a, uh, some UFO tape on. Again, this is, we're getting to my glow stuff now. Keep a soft eclipse anode. This is what made me remember how much I love the soft eclipse and put it in my main bag. Uh, I use it for putting and for, you know, straight shots. When I'm playing glow, this is an original one of the first runs of the Envy, uh, or the first run Eclipse Envy, so they didn't glow that well, so I have a UFO tape on it. Uh, Eclipse Crave, same deal. I probably usually have to hit this thing with a little UFO tape. Then we got the new Eclipse 2.0 TK disc off stamp, so this thing does not need any glow tape. This is a Glow DGA Squall. It's a really cool run, actually. I'll talk about it later, but basically this stamp on the disc wasn't supposed to exist that year and it did and i got five of them so uh yeah this is a really cool run uh it's a six speed mid-range and i like throwing mid-ranges so this thing just bombs and then lastly i got a proton matrix with the glow tape on it uh, this one i really don't throw much because we have the reactor now so that's been my mid-ranges guys uh thanks for checking this video out getting a look at my collection here i'll come back uh, next video Take a look at my fairways and my distance drivers. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you for watching this look at some of my disc golf collection. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and other disc golf content. Lastly, thank you to my sponsor. For all your disc golf needs, check out Basket Bashers Disc Golf.